今日こちらの方向にんこおおエリザウォーマン Yo what's up how's it going I'm James and welcome to Vinland Saga Last time on on Vinland Saga, we got introduced to some new people, new characters, whose name I have written down somewhere. For fuck's sake, I don't think I have it anymore. Yeah, I have no idea who, <laughs> who the characters are even anymore. Yeah, I have no idea anymore who the characters are. I'm sorry. But I am gonna write them down again as soon as they say their names. So don't worry about that. Anyways, the guy uh, became a slave. Unfortunately, his family got killed, as it usually fucking goes with new characters in these kind of shows. What the fuck? I mean, every single time it happens. That's not a coincidence, man. Why everyone gotta die around the new characters? Damn it. Anyways, anyways, the guy became a slave. He got sold to a guy who also coincidentally has Torfin on his uh, farm or lands or whatever. Chopping trees and now, uh, you know, chopping buddies. That sounds amazing. I cannot wait to see where this goes. If we are maybe gonna learn some more about the family that has bought the guy and now has Thorfinn, how they came across Thorfinn. What even happened to Thorfinn after the first, uh, the final episode of the last season? I mean, I can kind of imagine because he didn't attack the king and they did stop him. So they probably just said to fuck with him, uh, let's sell him and they did. And now he's, you know, a purposeless guy chopping down trees. But, uh, yeah, I want to see how it actually went down. So is that going to happen this episode? We shall see. Without much further ado, let's jump right into Villain Saga Season 2, Episode 2. This intro, by the way, so far, in comparison to the first and the second intro, I don't know. I think I like it the least, somehow. The visuals are amazing. The visuals are maybe on the top, I'd say. But the song alone, I don't know. It's, um, uh, I like the first one the most, the very first one, I think. That one slaps. Not saying this one's bad, it's just, in my opinion, <laughs> it's not, not up there with the very first one. But it's still pretty, pretty damn good. That's, that's for sure. Also, another question is, is this Vinland? Maybe? Did he hey, find no, Vinland? I know. There we go. Mm. I can already tell. They'll mm. become the best of buddies. One time. You gotta escape the forest. Oh. ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。ごめん
Soga. He's starting to teach him. The music, though. What a hype OST. Catch, catch your own. それよかった。取りに行くのかどっかにか。いや、そろそろ方向人が持ってくる。本当かよ。ねえ。左に尽くせりだな。うし。マジっすか。マジマジ。わ、でした。そうだろ、トロフィー。I Actually? What's in there? Ah! <laughs> Come on now. Man, I know there's slaves and all, but... Come on. For a second there it sounded like they have their own like Animal Crossing style islands there they can take care of. But their traders and shopkeepers are shit. Man. Mm. Hell no. Two. Fuck you. Bash him with the bread. Yeah, I guess one of the reasons why Torfin looks so disheveled. Hi. They get a horse. That's nice. At least something. Kill them in their sleeps. Come on. Buddy does not know how worse it could have been. Literally. Man. Come on, Gene. Pull. Eina, my own mochi agate kure. Wakata. He's a strong dude. He's a strong dude. Let's go. Man, this fucking music is making me uh, fucking be hyped about a tree, you know, taking to the river or whatever. This is great. あ、自分の畑がないから旦那の使用人やるしかねえ連中だろ。うん。ああ。なんだよ。そんなもんお前半分奴隷みたいなもんじゃねえか。あ、トルフィン。お前もそう思うだろ。そう。どうでもいいよ
たまーにおとなしく手伝ってやりゃ細けえことをぐちぐちよ<笑>ああやめたやろうと思ってたけどやーめた This guy. Why is he working with a sword? What the fuck? てめえのいねえとこだよクソやしお前は俺はこいつで<笑> yeah, okay. He wants to fight. <laughs> He doesn't even know how. <laughs> Being a bit of a dumbass. <laughs> Put the sword back in shame. <laughs> Man, this is so much fun. Is this the girl? <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> oh, puts the sword back in shame again. Ah? <laughs> she gonna change his thick, thick skull and the minds within it. What? Yes, yes, he's a wakamas to me. So, just that. Yes, I do that. Dad, he's listening in. <laughs> Even Jean is excited. Family. This guy is so fucking tense all the time. Holy shit. Oh. おめえらこそ何やってんだいいまいそっち行きますねおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらお
the most for being so chill about the whole slavery thing, right? What a nice thing to give your slaves a Animal Crossing land and just let them take care of it and just sell their stuff back to you. And then once they sell enough that you paid them for, for them, then they can be free and they maybe will continue work for you because you already built a relationship with them and a bond. And if you are nice to them, you know, why wouldn't they work for you again? It's a nice work. Um, yeah, MBB. And other than that, we had some new people. Well, <laughs> first of all, Einar. <laughs> I wrote down Einar likes women, uh, pretty women, which is true. I mean, I don't remember who it was, but it wasn't any of the... Well, fuck, she was sitting with the guy, with the main guy on his, uh, you know, thing. So maybe she was his family, his daughter or something. Maybe she wasn't, because there were a lot of other women as well. Maybe it was the one the young master was sleeping with. Um, could have been. Actually, you know what? Fuck it, let me check. Okay, it's a different woman. So maybe it was a family of the guy. Could have been. Anyways, Einar is deeply, deeply in love. He will do anything for her from now on. And it seems like the show is uh, setting up something with those two. We shall, we shall see how that goes. Um, yeah, I also wrote down a very nice slave owner, which is crazy to say, because... You know, no slave owners are usually nice. And I mean, the way they interpret sometimes the slave owners, like the good ones, it's usually in a way where, you know, at the times, slaves are normal, everybody has a slave, and you would be kind of weird not to have one. I mean, economically, right? So, uh, you know, you just gotta do what you gotta do. You're gonna get one, but you're gonna treat them not like animals, but like humans. And that is usually, that seems to be usually the case. I mean, again, I'm gonna mention the movie 12 Years a Slave. If I remember correctly, the guy, the main guy, was on one or two farms where the main guy, or was it just one farm? The one with a Benedict Cumberbatch, right? He was on his farm and Benedict has been a very, very kind to him, even though everybody else wasn't. But because the guy stepped up a bit too much, Benedict had to send him away to another farm, which was way more shit. So, uh, yeah, always love to see a nice slave owner. At, uh, like, yeah, it's still not nice to be a slave owner, but at those times, I'm gonna stop speaking, I think. Um, Olmar is a shortcut to every, but everybody's shortcut to his dad, which is an interesting character trait. I mean, he overall is a very interesting character. Like, you know, he's got the sword on his back. He tries to pull it out. He can't. Tries to slice them off. He fucking can't. Puts the sword back in shame. And like, he's 17. He's very intense. He wants to go to war. He doesn't know anything about the war. Will he find out? Maybe. We shall see. If their farm gets attacked or something. That... You know what, actually? Now that I mention it. That would be a interesting twist to the very niceness we have right now. Because, dude, this episode was so nice and so much fun. And it just, you know, everybody was so happy in a way. But this is not normally that type of a show. I fear something bad's gonna come. What could come? Fucking attack on, the, attack on the farm. And the main guy dying? His son dying? All the women and children dying? Thorfinn showing up his skills, maybe saving uh, Einar? Yeah, that's kind of what I expect <laughs> right now. But yeah, what I was going to say is that he did seem kind of goofy at the start. But then the line of him saying uh, he's sick of being the shortcut for everyone to get to his dad. Um, yeah, that is a nice character trait. Because he realizes it. And, you know, he's being kind of played by everybody and maybe that's why he's acting the way like you know it now makes sense why he's acting the way he's acting because he is probably sick of it as he said and you know i would be i would be mad too if fucking i was a shadow of somebody and everybody thought of me just as that shadow and also i was 17 and fucking edgy as hell yeah <laughs> anyways enough talk let's see what ready things uh ready time Something I personally really love to see is when anime characters age up. It really shows how far they've come since the beginning, and I think they pulled off Torfin's aging up really well. You know what, now that this person mentions it, yeah, that adds, like, 
you know, you are watching an animating thing, so there's a bit of a disconnect there. But then those characters kind of age up throughout the seasons and it connects them to you and you see them as real people somewhat. And it's crazy because it's animated still, but you kind of stop thinking about it as animated. Like when in Attack on Titan, something, I'm not gonna spoil, I'm not gonna spoil anything for if you haven't seen it, of course, but you know, obviously characters age there as well. And and I'm just gonna say the like one of the last scenes in one of the last episodes when that thing happened, you know, that made that character in particular quite like real. I I, I don't know why it just messes with my brain sometimes. That it's a fucking animation, but it feels real because they age. Like that's probably the biggest benefactor to connecting them as real people, I feel like. And if anything I just said makes no sense, I'm sorry I'm trying to be as vague as possible to not spoil the, the best anime there probably ever was. Einar, all people who wage war are monsters. Torfin. Aw, sad face. <laughs> Thorfinn agreed. Actually, uh, why, where was the shot from when he was watching the village burn? At first I thought he saw a village burn, but then I remembered his village didn't get burned. He went with Force and then Force died and, you know, then he went with uh, Askeladd and then he saw other villages burn, right? That's where the shot was from. He saw other people die. I like the way the shot moved over to Thorfinn's eyes after Einar finished narrating his tale. Those eyes spoke volumes about what he faced, what he did in his quest for revenge. Yeah, that. Also, dude, what I loved about that shot in particular was as it showed, uh, well, first of all, Thorfinn's slow open of, of the eyes as it mentioned the Danes. And then as Einar kept speaking about his experience, he went back to Thorfinn and he still had that very much apathetic look in his eyes, like just does not care about anything anymore. But then it cuts to the wide eyes open Thorfinn, the young Thorfinn. And that's like, that's how he feels inside, no? And Einar's speech there might have just sparked a little bit of that, uh, whatever that was again. So, uh, fuck, dude. What an ending. I really, really like that. I really enjoyed the whole episode just now. If this is what it means for the show to be slower, quote unquote, fuck yeah, please give us more of this. This was amazing. Thorfinn started his quest to avenge his father. By the end of that quest, he lost another father as well as his innocence. So, I'm not the only one who kind of thought that he was sad after Askeladd's death because he kind of saw him as a dad figure, right? Was he just remembering the first time seeing pillaging the latter? Yep, absolutely. The sheer regret in his eyes, man. God damn. This is gonna be a whole ass arc, isn't it? With Thorfinn now trying to overcome his regrets of uh, spending the last 11 years doing something he now absolutely does not want to look back at. A really interesting dynamic between Einar and Thorfinn, with one falling victim to the cruelties of war being so hot blooded, while the other is a contributor to these atrocities now being so meek and obedient. Unlike his past self, Einar was the complete opposite of his timid self in episode 1 and Thorfinn was the total opposite of season 1. It's fascinating to see how much Thorfinn has changed since season 1. Yeah, but you know, it's a show, It's it's gotta evolve. I cannot wait to see where he, he is gonna evolve. Like, is he even gonna speak to Einar about the stuff he has done? About the fact that he has pillaged the villages, just like what Einar saw happen to his village, and even worse. Um, yeah, and it's gonna be interesting if that ever happens. He can't properly face Einar about it, yet. Farming simulator has never looked this clean. Yeah, that's what I said. I said the fucking RuneScape. It, like, even the music gave me RuneScape vibe, vibes. Like, Jesus, I want to play it again. <laughs> They're going to fucking kill it with character animations this season, aren't they? The sunset scene was just breathtaking. Dude, there were so many beautiful shots in this episode. Except, <laughs> except the one, <laughs> except the fucking one that was just like, you know, zoomed. It looked like far away scene, but it was zoomed in and you could see everything. <laughs> what was that? Loving Thorfinn so far, easy on the eardrums. <laughs> well, because he doesn't speak much. And I bet that is gonna change, isn't it? Nah, ain't no way that father was gonna listen to her daughter get railed. Different times, you know, different, <laughs> different times. No, he was not going to listen. He already did because they were going for the second round. 
Jesus Christ, man. Einar too horny to form a sentence. The blood from his brain rushed to other places. I have no idea what direction the show is going in, but I'm freaking enthralled. Same, like I genuinely really enjoy where we are at right now, but I also acknowledge that it is not that type of a show. So things uh, are probably gonna change for the wars very, very soon is my fear. And that has been Vinland Saga. Quiet the episode this time around. We had a farming sim pretty much the whole episode. But how did you enjoy it? Did you uh, like it? Did you like the change of pace? And was there anything that I might have missed? Leave a comment below. Have you enjoyed this reaction? Consider leaving a like or a sub. Because if you don't, your parents will listen on you the next time. The hoo-hoo is happening. And I'll be seeing you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>